Welcome everyone to offline install of Windows 11 for the Click and Point community. Click and Point community, we are people with none to limited IT experience. Now by offline install, I mean we are installing this without having network connected and without a Microsoft account. Now you think, how is that possible? We will see. I'm not gonna go really deep in it. Like I said, it's made for the click and point community. I just wanna show you there is a way you can install that. First, we have to do a couple things. Download an ISO file. I will not give you an address to that ISO file. You gotta find one by yourself. When you go the official way, you would be a member of the Windows Insiders program, then you can download and I think they don't even have an ISO file. I didn't found it. I clicked on ISO and I got to here and there's no Windows 11 ISO available. So the only way you could do is via the development channel update now as far as I can see. Like I said, I'm not a professional, so take it with a grain of salt. Now you download an ISO file. You can easily install it as a, on a virtual machine. Just go ahead and download VMware Workstation Player. Uh, it's totally free for personal use. Or you go and download Oracle VirtualBox. One of the two will work. Or you ask your IT administrator, please, can you install it for me? on the VMware server and the answer will be absolutely not. Like I said, you don't use it as a production machine. First, I'm going to download an ISO file. I will not show you where I download it. Just look for it. You might be able to find the ISO file out there. I also use a virtual machine and I mean, even Windows comes out with Windows 11. My favorite is still Fedora. So I'm going to create a new machine here. I'm now going to my ISO file. I have my ISO file in here. I make sure it's a Windows, it cannot detect it. I, t I tell it it's a Windows 10, should work. Go next, important. UEFI, secure boot, click next. I give it press pro I give it a couple processes. I'll leave this at one, but we can go to two. Next, I have plenty of RAM in this machine, so I give it eight. It's only required to have four. You can look up the specification by yourself. I'm using bridge networking for now. Click next. Click next. And I want a new virtual disk. 
to test that the disk space that's fine 60 gigabyte like i said we just want to see if it runs at all and i make sure i have this in the correct folder Going through my setup, I'm fine here. I hit finish. Now I look in my settings again because I said I want to make sure it is not online, so I make sure the network adapter is not connected at this time. In case of this ISO. I downloaded this from the internet so it could be that's a little bit fishy the whole thing and I don't know if there's a virus in it or anything else so I'm gonna make sure I isolate my virtual machine and now I'm gonna power this machine on. And I put normally. Here I just click on, I don't have a product key. We want to install without a Microsoft account, so I gotta select other version. I like the Pro. Now we probably have to click on this. And here we click on custom. That's our virtual hard drive. Click next. And just let's do its stuff. Almost like a Windows 10 clean install. In fact, it is just like a Windows 10 clean install. And I guess another reboot. So here we are. Here I click, I don't have internet. I continue with the limited setup. It's me. And a password.
So we basically created a local account on that machine. So here we are. I'm going to install real quick my VMware 2 on this machine. And Yeah, come on. Yeah. Finish the installation and reboot the machine. If you are not a subscriber, please consider su subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. We will do next week a Windows 10 to Windows 11 upgrade, also in a virtual environment. There you go. So, okay, and here we go, Windows 11. I know there are a lot of videos out there already, but this was for my point and click community. So make it as easy as possible. And like I said, next week we will do a Windows 10 to a Windows 11 upgrade. Now I'm going to turn on my network card and see what happened here. Just want to make sure we can browse the internet and play around with it. If you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. Hit the like button on this video and the notification bell so you will be notified when the next video comes out. And you all have a great week.